what's up everyone welcome back to tease time i'm tj uh, thank you for tuning in uh today we're going to talk about the bathroom situation <laughs> so uh this is what i'm going to go for with my uh bathroom choice it was either between uh compost toilet cassette toilets and uh definitely i was out of the question of having like actually a uh, black tank to hold the waste uh so i went with the cassette toilet uh what i have here is the uh, then the 365 uh, that model comes in two different models. There's the E and then there's this model. So this model right here, the only difference is it uses a pump action versus the E is an electric pump where you press the button and it takes, I believe it was like uh, six uh, AA batteries or something like that. Uh, but the only thing about that one, the electric one, like if the pump fails, you can't flush it unless you actually like pour water down uh, to make it flush. So with this, it should be a uh, more user friendly and less components than that could fail on you. So uh, that's what I went with uh, the 365, the non E version. Uh, so I'm going to get into uh, unboxing it and we're going to talk about uh, this. But uh, before I got this, uh, this was the emergency option for toilets. So uh, need be, worst case scenario, you got a lid, you got a bucket, you put a bag in there so the bag catches it not the bucket and you kind of just get rid of it just as if it was uh like a duty bag if you're like walking your dog so the same situation like that uh but like for our toilet here i did go ahead and i ordered uh the bio packs right here uh, this is to help dissolve like all the waste and paper and break that down uh it's biodegradable it's uh cali safe so it's straight uh so with this you just put it down in the tank you add some water to activate that to let this dissolve and then it just eats away with the enzymes and all that greatness to make that happen. Uh, but let's get into uh, the unboxing and uh, please do excuse like the, the noise you hear in the background at the AC going and you hear the inverter probably making some noise. Uh, it's a little warm, so I'm just trying not to like sweat to death. So uh, please bear with me, uh, but let's get into uh, unboxing this. Uh, so you get it like this, it came in the mail straight like this. Uh, there was no uh, like uh, hidden like or cover on it so you couldn't tell what it was. Uh, so it comes just like this. Uh, the box is a little banged up. So I'm hoping it's good. I got it on Amazon, so there's like two options. There was the new and the used version. So I don't know if I paid for the new version and they gave me the used version. So we're about to have a nice little surprise right now, so we're gonna get into that. But uh, yeah, so uh, the perks with this, uh, the top portion holds four gallons of fresh water. Uh, the bottom portion holds 5.5 gallons. And they do also sell like a, a shorter version of this with a non-electric or like a smaller uh, holding tank. about the angle of the thing we're trying to get this in a shot so you can actually see unboxing it so you open it comes in the bag discard the box you won't be needing that uh, but it does have on the back side of the box there's uh instructions what does it say disconnect the tank dose the waste holding tank preparing it the flushing water tank flushing open and closing waste holding tank Okay, pretty uh, self-explanatory. Uh, so uh, even if you fill your water like at the top portion, right here, you can dose the bottom by just pumping. But uh, take it out the plastic. Appears to be new. <laughs> Uh, so these are your cover lids, uh, most likely for uh, like the spout, 
uh, when you drain it and also for the fill. All right. And then it just has like some recommendations of like care items, cleaning supplies, uh, toilet paper, stuff like that. And you open the top lid and these are in there. So uh, this cover right here, uh, this is where the water goes into this hole right here. Uh, and this right here is the, the plunger. This is how you flush the toilet. So we have that. Let me try to get the top portion disconnected from the bottom portion. Okay, and this is the quick start guide right here. And on the other side of that, it's just a breakdown of the parts that make up the toilet. And there is also an optional uh, toilet hold down kit. Uh, I'm not going with that. I plan on eventually when I have my shower in there, the sh it will go where the shower will be uh, just to keep it for storage and out of the way. Uh, so first order of business on the prep uh, disconnect the top from the bottom. So in order to do that, uh, you turn it around, and on the back side right here, this is the disconnect latch. So uh, okay, so you just uh, squeeze that. It lifts up. This is the top portion right here. Yes, and the bottom portion. Uh, so those lids, those covers that were under the toilet seat, uh, that's where this goes. So make sure uh, you put this cap on there before you use it. So that way you don't have anything like leak out and kind of run down the sides. Uh, so this is just to contain all of the waste under this and this swivel, does swivel for like when you do go to drain it. So it has a swivel action. Uh, don't fumble it. <laughs> Let's open this. And it says for the instructions to add two to three liters down this spout right here. It says, put it up like so. And that holds that. And I do have uh, some dil distilled water. I got four gallons. Yeah, so it says uh, two to three uh, liters. Uh, one gallon is 3.78 liters, pretty much four liters. Uh, so I'm gonna probably pour about, or I am gonna pour about this much from the top down about here into that. That's uh, just priming the, the waste tank that will hold it. And that's also where we're gonna throw our uh, bio packs in there to help compost and break down all the, the dew with toilet paper that will be in there. So you do that. All right, and less is more with that because that just that's your uh, storage space for your waste. Uh, so uh, if you get just enough, it should be just right. So uh, you have more space for uh, your waste to go. Uh, but you do that. 
put your uh, lid on. Make sure you put this lid on. Make sure there's a gasket inside of the lid. Uh, you want to make sure that it's sealed, so you definitely don't want any waste sloshing out on you. Especially like you're traveling down the road or anything like that. So you do that. Make sure it's tight. It doesn't have to be like just snug. Doesn't have to go crazy tight. And then this just swivels back down. Like so. It also has this nice little uh, carrying handle. So if you have to bring it wherever you gotta go or even help like with the, the dumping of the dew. All right, so that's done. We got that, we have it primed. We do a swivel back down. And then it says to uh, reconnect, reconnect the, the top and the bottom, put those back together. So this, Right here, the handle is the front section. I think so. Is that the front section? Let's see. No, I'm wrong. The handle they use to carry is the rear section of the toilet. Or should I say the porta potty? So then once that is situated, or no, yeah, <laughs> once that is situated, you put the lid back on, I don't know if you can see, these clips right here, they align with the clips right there, so you just have to make sure that all gets aligned, and you have to redo redo your latching action it shows you right here on the rear that's that's what locks it in place so uh hook the front and then push down it'll click in place and make sure it's locked into place you want that like a nice good seal Once we have that done, it says fill the top portion. Top portion will be this right here, and it's right there. You have to fill that with uh, 10 to 15 liters. That's about like four gallons. Yes. Okay, and also what's nice about this, the porta potty, it does have a waste indicator right here, which would go red when this starts getting full, the bottom, the waste section. So, uh, yeah, so right now we're gonna go fill our water through here, and then once we have our water in here, we're gonna tighten that lid, and I'm gonna show, go through the process of how you actually will like uh, flush the toilet, like reuse the toilet. Funnel would definitely make that a lot easier. A lot easier than just trying to like pour and get it in there. We got it in there. But uh definitely would make your life a little easier if you did have a funnel, but like if you were filling that and you did have like a shower, put it like inside the shower so that way it'll catch any water that you'll spill. And then the lid. But uh, there is no uh there isn't a gasket in this. probably just thinking because that's like the fresh water section so uh like if that spills out like you should have nothing but just uh, water in that especially with the, the bio packs that i'm using it says uh, don't mix any other chemicals and this goes into the holding tank the waste part <laughs> the waste part the waste section of the toilet 
All right, so then once you have that, and it's done for the process of the use. Okay, so when you do use the toilet, uh, the little black lid right there, it should stay closed. Uh, this front handle is what you pull after you use the toilet. So you'll go to the bathroom with the lid closed, and then once you're done, you'll open it like so. You can see down there, and then there's like some plastic in there, but it's cool. All right, so uh, poo. Handle your business with the, the valve, it's closed, it's, the hole is closed, nothing should go down. So it's open until you're finished, and once you're finished, you'll open it, and then you'll give the cyber a couple pumps. We have to prime this, mind you there isn't any water. So now, there's like a little funnel where it shoots the water to go around. So that is how you will flush it. And like the material seems like it's kind of slick. Uh, so it should help everything go down a little easier. And then once you are done using the bathroom and you flush, uh, you just go ahead and close that and make sure it's closed all the way to seal out any of the smells. And that's what the cubes come into just to make sure that it doesn't smell. That's like a big concern for me. I just want to make sure it doesn't smell like dew doo-doo inside of the van whatsoever uh zero smell of doo-doo uh, if it does like we're gonna have to switch up our uh, thought process of the bathroom situation and this is also like last resort like if possible like use like regular restrooms go somewhere else convenience store wherever uh this is just kind of like if you don't have that option you need to go just a, a comfortable option and let's see this is what it looks like when you sit on it. Let's get a little height. So, sit down, you lift, you sit down. Height-wise, it's, it's a pretty nice height. Uh, not too short, not too high. Cause like you do want to kind of have like your knees up. Like you really gotta push, <laughs> but uh. Yeah, yeah, it feels comfortable. Uh, yeah, there should be enough room. And then for like dudes, uh, like to like pee, you might wanna like sit down just like for a splash, especially since uh, that hole needs to be blocked or you probably could open it. I don't know how the, your aim is, but just like you don't want splatter, like especially like in the van, then you'll have like pee smell and stuff like that. Uh, so uh, you might wanna have to sit down I don't know if that's a cool thing for you or not, but uh, to prevent smells and cleanliness, uh, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, so uh, yeah, like I think it was gonna work out good. And then for our enzymes, we throw one in, put some gloves on. A safety precaution, like when you're using or dealing with chemicals, like I don't wanna touch it. So uh, I'm gonna throw a little enzyme bio pack, a natural enzyme deodorizing and waste digester so uh yeah it should be good for the instructions it says one of these cubes uh could treat up to uh capacity up to 40 gallons uh so this should be a plenty good there's about a gallon in there now we did like the little bit plus our flush so there's enough for this uh, so all you have to do for this you just open it And it says, do not use wet hands when opening this. Let's say camera seal. So uh, this is what the cube looks like, dry hand. And like we did before, you're gonna open up your valve. Open. And then you just uh, drop this in. 
and that is it it will dissolve it will break down when you do what you have to do scent and everything will be break it, broken down and that is septic tank safe also uh, so it should be able to go into like any toilet like if you do dump this so uh, dumping you will just find a toilet to dump it you just go into like wherever or if you're at like a friend's house or something like that you just go in and just flush it down like a normal toilet to get that waste out uh, but yeah I think I'm uh, pleased with it it's uh, compact it's not like the biggest thing so it's not gonna take up like a lot of space in the van and then like the good thing about this I don't have to worry about like plumbing uh, like water and tanks and stuff like that everything is contained in this which would make life a lot easier for me just like for install price convenience all the above and then also like it doesn't have to just stay in the van like if you do like switch vehicles or you go on a trip or something you're like in a car or something uh, you could throw that like in the trunk and you got like a, a emergency toilet if need be so uh yeah so cube is in now uh, you close it like so the little flap is closed uh, that seals everything in so like even just with that flap being sealed uh, that will keep everything the set and everything else inside of it also but uh, for dumping action when you do have to dump it see if we can pick this up from here so like we did before close the lid and on the back side is the lever right there you push that over you lift up And this, this connects from the top. And then also remember, like the, the seal right here, there isn't an O-ring. So like I wouldn't tip it upside down or on the side to let the fresh water leak out. So I would kind of just try to leave this as flat as possible. You get that out. All right, you get that part out. And what you would do, you would just twist this That'll be your uh, spout to pour out. You will grab the handles like so. Like you have your front handle and you have your back portion to grab onto like this. And then when you're ready, you will press this button right here. This is to relieve some of the pressure where you're pulling it in so it doesn't do like that little uh, back shoot on you. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's cool. And then it also has like these nice little seals where uh, the, little, the top part would uh, mount into. So I... Uh, yeah, you could just probably put like a little water on there to help the seal, make it a little gentle. But uh, yeah, so then once it's done draining, put your cap back on. Uh, just try to pour carefully. Like I don't know yet because I haven't had to empty it yet. But I will probably give you a, a review on that. Like if it seems to be an ordeal uh, dumping this. Uh, but like I feel like it should be uh, pretty good. But like you never know until we get to it. And then once that is done, you reassemble. Take it, rotate it, and remember the front little latch is right here, so it goes on to front first and then clips down to the back. So you go like so, and that's it to get it on there. So, bada boom, bada bang, a quick one is installed, it's finished. <laughs> I like these kind of installs. Uh, yeah, so now we have a restroom, so our facilities are installed like so. So now you don't have to panic and pucker up. <laughs> you feel the need to go when things aren't open. You're like, okay, I have options. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I appreciate the time. Thank everybody for watching, liking, subscribing. I think we're over like 200 some odd subscribers right now. So I definitely appreciate appreciate each and every one of you so until next wednesday make sure your faculties are in order peace dj